Hi everyone, my name is Ken. Welcome to this house. Today we are in Lafayette Square in St. Louis, Missouri, looking at the old police station, also known as the Park House. This was built in 1867. The Park House stands tall in the southeast corner of Lafayette Park. But why is it here? And what is its purpose? Let's find out. First, let's add some context. Lafayette Park is considered by many to be the first public park established west of the Mississippi River. It includes 30 pristine acres surrounded by what many call the best preserved Victorian neighborhood in the United States. The park house was designed to complement the grand houses that line the streets of the park. The front door is surrounded by brick and complemented by windows on either side that incorporate contrasting brick around their respective arches. Inset in the windows are iron bars with a floral motif. Gracing the corners of the building are brick coins which contrast against the red brick for which St. Louis's historic architecture is best known for. Looking up, the corbels flare under the roof and are subdued by a playful Victorian color scheme in greens and tans. The mansard roof has been lovingly restored with a decorative motif and a variety of colors. We can see several examples of dormer windows, all in different styles, protruding from the roof both on the tower and above the rest of the facade. Continuing around the building, we find a portico joining the park house with a bandstand. On May 23, 1877, the St. Louis Republican wrote, Visitors to Lafayette Park Sunday between 1 p.m. and 6.45 p.m. totaled 13,749. With so many people visiting the park for concerts and leisure, the park house was built as a police station to help manage the ever-growing crowds. The police would maintain a presence in the park until 1919. Later on, in 1943, the park house was converted into a residence for Lafayette Park's groundskeeper. The years to come would prove to be rough for the building as it would fall into disrepair and many of its elements would begin to deteriorate until 1975 when it was restored by the Lafayette Square Restoration Committee. Their efforts would go on to attract and inspire new residents to restore the surrounding mansions. The park house can be visited for small local events and is sometimes used as a neighborhood meeting place. Thank you all for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Please make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'd also like to extend a special thank you to our members whose names you'll see on the next screen. I'll see you next time on This House.